video for you guys. This video is on the Janet Collection um, wig that I got. And this is called Aki um, Wig in number four. And it looks like that. So I purchased this for $69. Um, pretty pricey um, for me. Like, because I usually don't really go too crazy trying to buy, like, wigs for over $50. Like, that's just the <laughs> So, I got this wig because this wig mimics my hair so freaking well. And this is how she looks. So, it comes in a, like that little so-called half box like this, you know. Not really a nice box at all. Um, so, I'm going to take these little things off. Take this off off as well. Do I even have scissors on me? No, oh, I don't have scissors. So, come on, where's my scissors? You know what? I don't even know why I'm asking where's my scissors because I know where they're at. So, I'm going to take the tag off and stuff. And she comes with lace in the front and lace in the back. This is the thing that I can't stand on these kind of wigs. They're going to use good lace on the back and this hard plastic lace on the front. I don't understand why do they do that and it kind of irks me that they do do that a lot with um, their wigs, especially ones that have the lace in the back. Like this has the most softest lace that I've ever touched from a retail like wig like inside the store and it has this plastic lace that irritates my forehead a lot. But anywho, this is how the hair comes, already layered and ready to go. And I got a four because look how the color. It has black and brown, like, oh my God, it's so done so beautifully. And that's the props on this wig I really, really love. Just that the lace is like the downsider. So I'm going to try this lace for you guys. This is my first time trying this wig, so yeah. I'm going to be using a wig cap like this. Um, I braided my hair into two pigtails um, just because I keep it very simple. I love to just split my hair down the middle and just do one braid here lightly and then do one braid here lightly. I say lightly because it does less yanking if you do one big braid versus little ones. So I'm going to go ahead and put this cap on me right now. And what I do is I just... Um, fold the um, braid like that and um, I'll just work the front just like so and then pull back just a little bit next to my hairline and tuck that in and this is how the back is going to look just with my hairline out and so I'm going to try on this wig before I cut the lace and it's going to look just like this I put it in kind of way. I put it in like doing that way or I can do it this way. Whatever. <laughs> now, if you have, um, what's the word? If you have a large head, you might run into some problems with this wig. And I say that because it's a very tight, snug fit. Um, just letting you guys know. It's a very tight, snug fit. So I'm going to take my wide tooth comb. You can use a paddle brush. The wide tooth comb, I don't, I, I like using much better because I like to make sure it's combed out, all the knots and stuff. Um, but yeah. And let's see. I'm going to make sure that um, this wig is snug just right. And I like to put it directly near my hair, hair, uh, hair line, <laughs> just so, um, you know, it looks more natural if it's near the hairline. But this is how the hair looks. And then when you start to push it back, um, it does a nice sweet curl, like, see how it looks? So it looks like that. I love the cut. The cut of this wig is so freaking gorgeous. Like, hands down, it is my favorite cut ever. Um, 
like I said, this wig is very, 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 very snug. Um, that's no joke. Um, and see, I think I would have to use a either a dark cap to, uh, I don't know, make it make me feel comfortable if it was a dark cap underneath. Because using a light cap, this does come up a lot. So this is what it looks like on me um, before I cut the lace. Okay. And it has combs in the back, one comb in the back, directly in the middle. And then it has, did I see underneath here? It has two combs on the side because I thought there was three. But it has two combs on the side and then one in the back. You have lace in the back and then lace in the front. Soft lace in the back, plastic lace in the front. Okay? Okay, so ladies, I already cut the lace um, in the front and in the back. I have already put my combs in. I adjusted my straps. And this is how the hair looks. So it says it's supposed to give a natural hairline. Um, the only thing with this hair is it is really, really over the top shiny. And I don't know. Like, I'm not, because this is a, a color, like, not like my own natural color. So I get kind of worried on how shiny, like, a brown is. Um, but other than just the shine, I am in love with the wig. I love the cut. Like, the cut is insane. The layering is just gorgeous. Um, this is how long it is in the back. And it's just freaking gorgeous and I love 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 the style of it and everything and um yeah this is definitely a worth purchase um the only thing like I said I'm just really eerie on is I hate that they use plastic lace in the front and then use a soft lace in the back which is so backwards and um just the shine that's that's it like, I love everything else about this wig. I love how tight fit it is, because I do have a smaller head. So, usually when I get wigs, they're always bigger than my head. So, yeah. But this is how it looks. And I'm thinking it is a 14. I will have... Let me see if I can look at the specs for you guys, because to me, I think it's a size 14. Let me see doesn't really say on the on the thing that's so weird okay well it doesn't really say you guys so I to me it looks like a 14 um I'm not sure if, like fully but it is not lumpy on the wig it's not like bulking up anywhere it's perfect fit and that was the one thing I fell in love with this wig is because of the perfect fit it was for me and um, I actually love the Janet collection, actually. This is, like, freaking awesome. I don't know if I tr ever tried a Janet collection, but this is freaking awesome. I love it. I really love it. The whole layering is just freaking awesome. <laughs> I love the layering in this wig. It's beautiful. So, and the hair is light. It's not, like, a whole bushiness of hair. So... Again, this is by um, Janet Collection. This is a full lace wig, front and rear, premium synthetic fiber. And the name of her is Aki, A-K-I. Um, and this is a full lace and number four. So that's what it looks like. Gorgeous. So that is, uh, yeah, that is basically the look of this wig, you guys. So... I'll talk to you guys later in another video. I'm going to do a couple of more wigs that I bought. And um, I hope you guys like this wig. Try it out if you're ever in your um, beauty supply place where they let you try on wigs. This is gorgeous. I love the color. Their color 4 is 
very beautiful because I've seen so many fours that's lighter than this. So uh, again, this was under 70 bucks. Um, if you guys want to try this wig out, try this wig out and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye loves.